The next part in making the Flappy Bird tutorial is that now we have to add a character to the stage. We call this an actor. A lot of you have probably played the game before and if not, the way this is going to go is that you're going to create a character and when you press the return or the enter button it's going to start to fall. To keep it in the air you're going to press the space bar and there's going to be a series of pipes that you have to avoid hitting to stay alive. So, the first step is that we're going to make the actor that's going to fly, or whatever, through the pipes. So, to do this, we're going to take our butt and click on Add Actor. And you can draw your own, or what I'm going to do is add from the media library. Now, the advantage of adding from the media library is that we can also choose some of the animations that Tinker has. So, for instance, if we click on the Animations tab, we'll see that we have a bunch of different types of animals or uh, different uh, eels, rabbits, frogs, whatever. Um, you can pick on any of these, and since they all have fun little animations, um, they'll, we can have it change while the thing's flying through the air. So, um, I think for this one, uh, since it's a flappy game, um, the, the butterfly actually looks kind of cool, so I'll choose this one. And I'll add it to the stage, like that. So now you see we have this big butterfly. So, we're going to do a couple things here with the butterfly. You notice over here in the top right, these two little numbers that change depending on where my mouse is on the screen. This first number is what we call the X value. You'll notice... If I stay at the same, if I just move horizontally, the other number doesn't really change, but the x value, that first one, does. And when I go to the right, it becomes positive. When I go to the left, it becomes negative. So what we want to do is we want to have our butterfly, or whatever creature you choose, start at the left side of the screen, and it's pretty much going to stay there. It's just going to go up and down. The pipes are going to be the thing that moves towards the, the uh, animal. So, how do we do this? Well, now we want to start doing some code. So over here, if we click on the Events tab, you see that there's one of these buttons that says On Start. Now, the way that computer code works is that when we click the Start button, which is this green little arrow here, whatever we put under this Start button is going to go. So, we talked about how these two little numbers tell you where the X position is for this butterfly. And I want it to start at negative 250 and 0 in the y direction. So I can do that by going to motion and I can pull this piece here which tells the butterfly when we click the start button to go to x equals 0, y equals 0. And if I change this x value instead of starting at 0, see, so let's test this real quick. So if we press this start button, see how it goes to the very middle of the screen? Because that's where these two numbers are equal to 0, 0, right in the middle. But now if I stop this program and I change this to, let's make it go to negative 260. We can click go again. And see now it starts all the way over here. So I think I like that value better. But the one thing here is this butterfly is way too big. Because we need to maneuver this animal through all the pipes. So let's shrink the butterfly down. And... This is our first. Uh, this is our first piece of code that we're going to use for this uh, for this actor, and we can keep it named the butterfly.